All right, so I just had my breakfast. I read a chapter in the book that I'm reading currently. Got my lipstick on. So I am ready to start my little tiny day of adventures. Now my form of adventure is not very adventurous. I'm not like going hiking or anything, obviously. Um, but I'm just doing some fun shopping. So instead of like errand shopping, which is normally what I have to do, I'm going to go to the places I want to go and just browse around and be on my own time. I kind of like doing stuff without other people, um, even my husband, <laughs> because it means that I can just browse. I can just spend as much time as I want in the store and not be concerned about other people's time frame. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to hit up a couple stores that I've been wanting to go to for a while and see what I can find. And I forgot to check the mail yesterday, so I just checked it now before I leave and I found my favorite happy mail. So if you are a baker or, you know, do anything with like cookies and stuff like that, Fancy Flowers is the best website for getting fun, decorative things. They always have seasonal things um, that you can use for your baking, and I just adore looking through their catalog. Like, their website is great too, but for some reason the catalog's so fun. So I have their catalog sent to me. Um, it's quarterly, so like four of these a year, and I just love looking at these. So this will be exciting to look at later too. Okay, here is my first stop of the day. I'm at Happy Tales Thrift Shop. Um, as a rule, I'm not a big thrifter. Like, I do see the value in it, but I just don't love it for several reasons. But I actually love this thrift store because they don't do clothes or anything like that. They just do things. So it cuts out a lot of most thrift stores are all clothes um, so this one is all things and usually I find something in there that I absolutely love even if I didn't know I was looking for it I have found great furniture in there before um, they have a really nice baking section full of stuff I found vases in there and pictures and things like that um, my best friend actually even found decorations for my husband and I's wedding in there. So this is one of my favorite places to stop. So I'm going to go see what I can find. All right, guys, so here is my little haul from Happy Tales. I got this cute little Christmas puzzle, and of course I'm expecting some of the pieces to be missing, but that's fine because it's just for me to have something to do while we're watching TV. I like to do puzzles, so got that. And then this really cute little tin that I can use for cookies. I thought that was really cute, so I had to get that. And then I love old cookbooks, so here's an old Hungarian recipes cookbook. And this little guy here, these were 50 cents. And then this is from 1965, Better Homes and Gardens barbecue book. And from the baking section, I got a whisk. I love how this feels in my hand. It's like the whisk that I have right now, except the shape is a little bit different, but it's got a real nice heft to it. So I'm gonna really get a lot of use out of this. And then this little orb ice maker. I love ice makers or ice trays, I guess I should say that have a lid on them um, so you don't get nasty stuff in your ice. And of course this makes them into little 
little balls, so I think that'll be fun. And these, there's two of these, they were $2 each. They are Madeline pans, and I have some of the regular um, Madeline pans that are more elongated, but I've been wanting these seashell style ones for a while, so I was really excited to find these in there, and they're, they've never been used. You can't see a scratch on them. And then an angel food cake pan, which actually was something I was really hoping to find in there because I don't have one right now and I'm too cheap to spend $14 on a new one. So I was able to spend $3 on this one. Also found some really pretty tissue paper in there. Can always use tissue paper, so I got that. And then a few old movies. I know DVDs are kind of a dying medium, but I really like old movies and I've been wanting to show Nathan more of the old 40s and 50s movies. So when I saw these in there, I grabbed them up. I found a few more things in there that I'm not showing because they will be gifts for other people and just a couple odds and ends. Um, I actually also found a really pretty little necklace in there that they packaged up in here for me. I'm not sure if I can open it with one hand. Okay, I opened it enough for it to fall out. So I found a really pretty little rose necklace there. And of course my camera doesn't want to focus. But yeah, so with everything that I bought and those few things that I didn't show that'll be gifts later on, it was like $36, so not bad at all. So after all that shopping, it's time for a little treat. It's really hot out here, so I'm at Sal's Gelato, and I'm gonna get a little small gelato to munch on, probably read a little bit more of my book, and then keep going. All right, so I just finished up my last stop, which was the library. So got a few books to look through here and it is really toasty outside. It's in the 90s today. So I'm gonna head home and make myself some lunch and probably sit on the couch and watch a Hallmark while I look through my books. So today was a nice little get out day, enjoy the day. Now I'm just gonna go home and relax and wait for Nathan to get off.